Good morning, folks. Today we've got carbon compounds in a system moon, deadly weather, and Jack Sparrow puts the incoming sunspot into perspective. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. Finding the last 24 hours on our star doesn't give much excitement. We did have minor blips in the solar wind, but still await the faster streams as both the magnetometer, smooth curves on the left, and the low KP on the right indicate that geomagnetism is calm, actually one zero block on the KP from a cosmic ray health concern. Faster solar wind should arrive today from the southern opening now turning out. Northern coronal holes swing in today and set their streams our way at that time. Oddly folks, we did have a solar flare this morning. Nothing major, just a break from the silence. And who do you think is to blame? Folks, 94 angstroms doesn't lie. While many SDO wavelengths focus on extreme ultraviolet, this one has more X-ray detection chops, and indeed, even with the sunspots still on the far side, just over the limb, their tall umbral magnetic field loops are within view of the GOES X-ray detector, and activity at the spot can now begin to affect Earth. As it seemingly creeps over the limb, trying to remain unnoticed, I remember the dangerous CMEs it produced in the last 10 days. I'll let Jack Sparrow show how we should feel right now, but also the resolve in these moments and a model for handling scary topics in the online community. Okay, how about some chemistry? Alma, Saturn, Titan, vinyl cyanide, a membrane compound. Quick vote in today's comments if you would. Which system moon has the best chance for life? Titan, Enceladus, Europa, or Rhea? Penny for your thoughts. Folks, after a couple of questions as to the severity of the Istanbul hailstorm, I had to go find this. It was indeed this bad. Video credit to Kai Digman via Storyful. Continuing on flooding, the monsoon is set into the southwest. This is Pima County, Arizona yesterday, and across the southern states to Jacksonville where some regions saw record flooding. And we jump way south to confirm the forecasted low temperatures for parts of New Zealand recently. Bit chilly, wouldn't you say? Check out your resources, spaceweathernews.com and suspiciousobservers.org. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the New Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.